Thank you for keeping it here with Fox 4 News at 10. I'm Chris Searle. And I'm Elise Chingari. To mark Memorial Day and give us all a look at the bigger picture, Naples is setting up for a baseball showdown this weekend with athletes who are true survivors. So the players on one of the teams all have challenges in common, often in the limbs that they may not have that most other people do have. But a Friday night practice will lead to a Saturday doubleheader to show off all the skills. Fox 4's Yvette Sanchez gives us a glimpse at this field of inspiration. God darn it, huge inspiration. When Curtis Pride calls someone else an inspiration, that means something. Born deaf in a game that relies on sound and communication, Pride stuck in the major leagues for 13 seasons. Now, he's the head coach of the Louisville Sluggers Warriors National Amputee Baseball Team. They are born to compete. They love challenge. They were not back down from challenges, no matter where. On the roster, military veterans, active duty personnel, wounded warriors, and also current and former amputee college baseball players. We have overcome their disabilities to compete at a very high level. We compete in able-bodied tournaments that we with the ODT with disabilities. But boy, we can compete with these guys. David Van Sleet, an Army veteran, played baseball in high school and earned his degree in prosthetics and now uses those skills and his experience as the team's general manager. If you want to be the best amputee baseball team in the world, you got to keep things going. Van Sleet recruits players from all over the nation. And it's amazing how we pick up a player here or there that really, really fits into the mold. Matt Kinsey is one of those players. Also an Army veteran, Kinsey says his life changed forever. In June of 2010, while on his second deployment to Afghanistan, he stepped on a landmine. It blew off his right foot, and during rehab, Van Sleet reached out. And invited me out to uh, Arizona to do the uh, Window Warrior softball team. Kinsey says he never thought this team, starting as a softball squad and now a baseball team, would grow like this. One moment in this journey always sticks for Kinsey when the team went to Japan in 2014. So we went in the World Physically Challenged Baseball Cup, and uh, Curtis was our coach, Dave was our manager, and uh, through game one and game four, I threw the championship game against. Japan and uh, we won a gold medal and uh, that was pretty cool. In Naples, Yvette Sanchez, Fox 4. <laughs> Thanks, Yvette. So here's how it works out for tomorrow. The Warriors will play in that doubleheader 10 a.m., 2 p.m., going up against the Southwest Florida Naples All-Star team. And those games will be at Fleischman Park.